so weird to see his Tahoe with nothing on the front of it. 2021 Duramax 1500. Yeah, so good news. Uh, I think that's like perfect. So weird to see his Tahoe with nothing on the front of it. It's weird. to put you on YouTube? Yeah. You already fucking dropped my name in one of your videos. Yeah. Well, that's 10 grand, I'll be top. 10 percent, 10 percent uh, royalty. 10 grand on the top just for my name drop. 10 percent royalty. What are you doing when we're putting this all? What if I just film your ass? What, 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 what? Hey, can I, what if I upload this video to Pornhub and name it two, two white guys and, you know, one thick, one thick black rubber? Brandon, walk back up. I know all I show is big, huge, lifted trucks all the time, but we put some uh, 22s and I think either 33s or 35s on this truck today, and it turned out really freaking good. Some 295s, Toyos on this 2021 Duramax 1500. That turned out really freaking good. I love that. A little ready lift on it. Look, see the Duramax? Z71 1500. Turned out freaking amazing. I am pretty freaking excited today because I got a couple things in the mail for one for the cat eye, and two, I got something from uh, one of my sponsors or partners. So, one, I got some more of these little tag light covers. tag light covers for the cat eye super awesome it's not a huge thing but pretty exciting to me to be honest uh, i was pretty excited for them and two this is this is what i'm really excited about this is the box right here so it's uh um, the po box says pit crew it's even got my it's even got my name on it which is pretty awesome get this opened up see what's inside I did. Little box. Ooh, this is it. This is it right here. This is it. I've been waiting for this for so long. Look at that nice long. Uh, you guys can't tell what this says, but it says Nitto on it. So I got a really nice long Nitto decal. 
which is probably going to go somewhere on the silver truck. That's pretty cool. Nitto hat. Nitto hat. Hell yeah. Let's see, we got one shirt. We got a jacket. <clears throat> got, a little, got a little backpack. Lanyard. Two key tags. One for each of my trucks. Hell yeah. Some Nitto socks. Got a bunch of the, the little Nitto decals. I probably got, what, four of those? Five of those? <clears throat> Nitto pen. Who's got a Nitto pen that you know of, huh? Then we got a driveline book. Love to get my truck in this at some point. That'd be kind of cool. You guys get the uh, you guys get the gist of it. Um, I just want to say huge, huge, huge shout out. I've I've been a supporter of Nitto. I actually had Toyos first, and then I hopped on the Nitto bandwagon because Nitto makes the 375 my favorite tire of all time. And I actually got the opportunity to work with Nitto, you know, a couple months ago. Honestly, probably only a couple weeks ago. And I'm a part of the Nitto Pit Crew. If you guys haven't seen that on Instagram, make sure you guys go follow them. Follow Nitto Tire. Follow Driveline on Instagram. Huge shout out to those guys. An amazing group of people. And I'm honestly, I'm just blessed to be able to to work with such a great team. And I'm a uh, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't want to come out here and film. You don't get to see. You shout out to those guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, most I told her on the on the phone earlier. Most of this stuff's probably gonna end up going to her. But uh, again, huge shout out to Nitto and the team over there. You guys are the best. I can't wait to uh, put some Nitto tires on the new setup that's coming soon. Shh. Nice black Denali in here this morning. 6.2, love it. And we got the silver 5.3 in here this morning too. It's getting some uh, Venoms, some tough wheels. I don't know what wheel, should look pretty good. I'd be really surprised if this thing cranks right now. It was about to die yesterday. Say that every day and y'all are probably getting annoyed with it but i'm uh, to be completely honest with you it'll focus where's my face at there we go to be honest with you the battery's been dying because i don't drive this every day I literally the only time y'all get to see me drive it is when i pull it out of the shop i pull it up front and i pull it back in the shop that's it i don't i don't drive it i do have some good news for you guys and good news for me i found a transfer case for stupid cheap so I'm gonna, that transfer case should be here Thursday, I think. I think it's gonna be here Thursday. So I'll have a new transfer case on Thursday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that torn apart. I don't think I'm gonna need a drive shaft, but I might need a bearing for the carrier of the front diff. So I've got that on order as well. Well, I'll get that order today if I need it. But I do have a transfer case that'll be here Thursday, so. Good news for the channel today. Got a transfer case on the way. Bars, man, I need to be a rapper. So actually, I left this thing running outside for like an hour yesterday because I thought, like I said, it wasn't, it almost didn't start yesterday. If you guys watched that video, um, I don't think I need to leave it running today. But I'm pretty excited. So if everything goes as planned, the transfer case should be here this week. By the end of next week, I should be able to drive this home. If I get, you know, because it might not, I might not be able to get it installed like immediately. And if I need gears or something, I'll have to do that too. What is this like? 
middle part in my hair right now. What is what is this going on right now? Uh, I don't like that. I'm looking a mess today. Yeah, so good news. Truck will be back soon. So I'm sure this is a lot like what JW's truck looks like in these newer Denali's. It's nice, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. I almost it's almost too new for me, to be honest. Like I don't like how new these trucks are. They're so computerized. I mean, they've got every little gadget and button. And don't get me wrong, it's nice, but I just, I don't know. Some, some part of me likes the simplicity of the older trucks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I mean, look, these, these trucks even have like some carbon fiber inserts on them. Like I just, I don't, I don't like how new it is. I almost feel like I'm gonna break it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel like I'm gonna break it just by driving it. I feel like, you know, something's gonna happen or if I don't hit this pole first. Turn radius is a lot better on this than mine though. That's for damn sure. But I think, you know, these, these newer silver, I like the Silverado's better to be honest. But the one that I showed you guys earlier in the video, and I think that's what uh, the silver GMC inside is getting. It's like a three to four inch lift kit, some 22s and some you know all-terrains or mud tires. That's like a perfect setup without going way too big like mine, because mine's borderline too big. But I think something like that, that four with some 22s and 35s, uh, I think that's like perfect. This is fresh, baby. That's what I'm talking about.